Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to provide a quick overview on the asset conversion field located on the product object. In Salesforce CPQ, assets are records of non subscription products that you've quoted or sold to your customers. Salesforce CPQ creates assets when you click on the contracted checkbox on either the opportunity record or the order record. The asset then gets created based on your account's renewal model and the value that's stored in the asset conversion field on the product you're contracting. This video is going to focus on the second part, which is the asset conversion field. The asset conversion field determines how a one-time product, also known as a non-subscription product, gets converted into an asset after the product gets quoted or sold to your customer. So to demonstrate this in Salesforce CPQ, I'm going to show you two products. We'll start with the 13-inch laptop, which you can see here. If we scroll down on the Details tab, you can see that there's an asset conversion field. To show you the options that were presented, I'm going to click on the Edit button. So we're going to scroll down again to the asset conversion field. And if I click on this drop down, you'll see that we have three options, none, one per quote line, and one per unit. So we would select the value of none if we did not want to convert the product into an asset. This value is useful if you're selling a one-time product that you wouldn't want to renew or track. For example, I might belong to a gym that has a monthly membership fee, which would be a subscription product, by the way. But if I decided one day that I wanted to buy a bottle of water, the gym that I belong to wouldn't necessarily need to track the purchase of that bottled water product. Next, we have one per quote line. If the asset conversion field is set to one per quote line, then this product will be created into a single asset record when we contract the order. For example, a quote line with a non-subscription product of a quantity of seven would create one asset record with a quantity of seven. I know this might seem confusing right now, but after I'm done explaining these three values, I'm actually going to show you what it looks like after the assets converted for each of these two options. If we move on to one per unit, if the asset conversion field is set to one per unit, then when we convert the asset, it's going to create one asset for each quantity of the order product. For example, if we had a product that had a quantity of 20, then when we convert the order, the asset conversion will result in 20 assets being created. So now that I've gone over the three values in this asset conversion field, I'm going to cancel out of this. So for this 13 inch laptop, we have it as one per quote line. That means if 10 of these laptops get converted, it'll show us one asset with a quantity of 10. On the other hand, if we go to the 15 inch laptop and we scroll down, you'll see that the asset conversion field is one per unit. That means if 10 of these laptops get converted, it'll show 10 laptops with a quantity of one. So I've created an opportunity that has both of these products on the opportunity. Since both laptops are bundled products, if we click on view all, you'll see that there's other products associated with the 13 inch and 15 inch laptop, but we're just gonna focus on these two values. So you notice that I have a quantity of 10 for each. I've gone ahead and created a quote on this opportunity. Again, there's eight quote lines, which represents both laptops and the bundled products. I've created an order for this quote, this one that's activated. And if we navigate back to the opportunity, you'll see that the opportunity is closed one. I have this contracted field checked. So now you're probably thinking, where are the assets themselves? Both assets and subscription products can be found on the account record. So if we scroll back up and we click on edge communications. You'll see if we navigate to the related tab that there's going to be an assets related list. If we click on view all, so you can see there's a ton of products. Again, this is because both laptops are bundled products, but in order to avoid any confusion, we're just gonna focus on the laptop products themselves. So you'll see that the 13 inch laptop was converted into one asset, but it has a quantity of 10. Again, if we go back to our 13 inch laptop, you'll see that it's one per quote line. But for our 15 inch laptop product, you'll see that this product was converted into 10 individual assets with a quantity of one. So understanding how the different values in the asset conversion field function is extremely important for success on the exam. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.